What is up guys, Jen here bringing you another Sega Mobile title in the Sega Forever Fridays and if you guessed it in the end of the last episode, it is a Vector Man. Vector Man, listen to that nice Genesis slash Mega Drive sound chip. Oh man, I'm hyped for this. So this is more of a classic title. My exposure to Vector Man um, began back in probably the late 2000s with the Ultimate Mega Drive collection on the PS3. Um, and I was really bad at the game. I played Vector Man 2 on the recent um, Sega Mega Drive classics on the PS4. And here we are now with Vector Man. So please use that comment section below to reminisce, share your memories with the game, discuss about Vector Man. When did you first start playing it? Have you ever played it? Are you going to give it a try? You should because this game is absolutely free like all of the Sega Forever titles. So when you kind of load into the game we're greeted with this and we're going to have a bit of a jazz around. This looks like a nice classic Genesis controller. Um, I should really be calling it the Mega Drive shouldn't I? Mega Drive controller. I'm from the UK okay. Um, we've got settings. We're going to have a look at that. Obviously you got um, let's have a look. Um, I've already got this all set up. I've got the scan lines and we've got the classic resolution. You can change that. The controls, you can um, customize where they display on screen. I think we'll just keep it as that for the time being. But you can also have arcade. So if you want more of an analog stick, um, should we try with the analog stick? Yeah, let's try with the analog stick. Um, see how we do. You can do that. We've got online high scores, um, which you can compare and contrast with your friends and me, you know, yours truly. And we're going to start. We'll uh, leave feedback after us um, in just a second. So here we are. We are loading straight in to Vector Man. And this is classic. It looks really nice on my phone. Um, you can probably see just above my head um, that there is a little, you know, a little timer on a certain rewind button. We'll definitely look at that because it's going to help us out because I'm not that great at Vector Man. But um, Vector Man is one of the classic platformers on the Sega Mega Drive. It has definitely earned itself as a classic on the system. Um, we're going to press start. Where is start? Oh, it's just down there. Um, we're going to go to options. Wow, what happened? We've gone straight into the game. Okay. So what I'm going to do, before we read that, if we can go into the options. The analog stick just absolutely buggered me over. So we are gonna we're gonna we're gonna have the classic um we're gonna have the classic um the modern should I say and we're gonna put haptics on because uh, you know with these classic games we always rage saying that we we press that button I swear I jumped at that time I didn't fall to my death um with haptics on um you got no excuse because if your phone vibrates you press the button all right if it didn't vibrate you didn't push the button so there's no excuses really for me and you while playing this. So let's get back into the game. We're done. Um, resume. It is 2049, and Earth City's forests and ice caps are fouled with toxic sludge. Humanity has escaped to stars, leaving mechanical or bots to clean up. One powerful or bot, Rasta, oversees the cleanup through a planet-wide comnet. Tragedy strikes in error. Attendants connect a salvaged nuclear bomb to Rasta's mestertal um, control circuits. I'm not making this sound as epic as it should. Here we go. Warhead is born. He stands for tyranny, hatred, and oppression. By Warhead's decree, Earth is forged into an instrument of death for the returning humans. Vector Man lands his space barge after delivering a load of sludge to the sun. Unhindered by evil mind control, he will not rest until Warhead is defeated and Earth is free. Again is again free. <laughs> Sounds just as epic, just however you put it. So, uh, wow, have we just been... Okay. I thought we were playing the game. Maybe I pressed something that I shouldn't have. But we've read the the, um, the intro to the story. So you know the backstory of Vector Man. He was um, delivering sludge to the humans in space. Therefore was not affected by 
this mind control. So we're gonna go into options and what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the difficult down to lame because <laughs> I have a feeling that that's how we're gonna be in this. I'm gonna hit start to continue um, back to the, the loading screen once again. Um, I mean, really, it really looks visually pleasing with those scan lines on my phone on such a small screen. It's really nice. Um, let's start the game then. Let's go straight into it. Let's get the skip that. Here we are, day one. We're at the terror port. So, okay. oh, no, oh, he hit us. I'm just trying to figure out the controls. What's jump? C's jump. Okay. Now right, let's get this TV. Ah! Stay on there. So yeah, as far as I'm aware, Vector Man is one of those staples in the platforming genre on the Sega Mega Drive slash Genesis, depending from where you are from. And uh, we'll definitely collect that. What's that do? Whoa! Scatter gun. You're finished. That was pretty sweet. So yeah, um, it's like it's a platform slash shooter. Um, oh wow, we, are we like? Blitzing through the level here. Oh, we're getting destroyed now. Let's get rid of him. Let's get this TV. Um, I don't know how far I'm going to play this game. I'll probably play like the first two levels, providing that we make it that far. Um, I'm pretty confident that I can. Um, it seems pretty straightforward, but I know that Vector Man, after playing Vector Man 2 on the uh, Sega, Genesis, uh, Sega Mega Drive Classics, is definitely a challenge game. And you do need patience with a game like this. If you guys are Vector Pros, please leave a comment in, in the comment section below, kind of like giving people's tips, because anyone can pick up this game right now, provided that you uh, have a, an account on your App Store or Google Store. Hashtag plug. But we're going to make our way through this level. What is that? I don't know what... what are, oh, we're a grenade! Maybe we should have just saved that till the end of the level. Oh, we got like a machine gun now. This is crazy. Man, these boxes are really generous. Or TVs. I don't know what they are. Are they TVs? Monitors? Hanging randomly in the sky? That guy did not stand a chance. We're doing pretty well, I'd say. Surprised I've not died. Um, we have only got two hit points left, though. One hit point. Spoke too soon. And are we at the boss already? Oh, wow. We are against a... That lasted long. <laughs> we were against a plane of some sort. Right. Let's go straight down to this boss then. We've got the... Uh, I assume we've got to... For some strange reason, this plane has like... Rocks on the side of it. So... Oh, okay. That's how we hit it. Avoiding these um, grenades at the same time. So this is all about positioning right now. We can do this. We can do it. Come on. Come on. Come on. You can do this. You can do this. Come on, it's, it's open. <laughs> Maybe this is probably a, a, a better use of the analog stick if we um, you know, had the analog stick enabled. But we're going classic, we're going directional pad right now. And hopefully, we can defeat. We've only got one hit point left, so we need to really be on the ball. Come on. Yes, we did it <laughs> with one hit point left. So uh, I don't know if that's pure luck or we are Vector Man pros already. Though maybe I might have spoken a little bit too soon. We'll see what has to offer next. So uh, he's doing like a little pose, I guess you could say, okay, what's happening now? Um, oh, this is a level? I thought it was like a bonus stage. Do you know, like, um, it reminds me of uh, Sonic 3D Blast when you're trying to get the Chaos Emerald. You run on the uh, tracks. So, okay, so we've got to jump over his hands and try and shoot him down. So this is like a... Oh, man, we lost again. We've only got two lives left, guys. So we need to really kind of... Gonna jump over that. Jump over that. Can you see how serious my, and concentrated my face is? There we go. What was he called? Minehead. More like 
fall to the floor head. <laughs> so day three, tidal surge. So this is going to be a. This is it looks like it's. This is like. This is a water level. I'm just guessing. Oh well, what was he doing? <laughs> That's such a funny animation. Oh, okay. Yep, yeah, this is a water level. Right, we'll be nice and cautious. Um, come on. He, I'm. <laughs> he beat me. That's not fair. I was underwater. Uh oh. Right. Slow and steady wins the race. Getting rid of these things underwater. Right, I'm gonna ignore them things. Right, we got them. Oh, that's where we died last time. Oh, okay, we can shoot through the little boats, that's cool. Um Oh, we'll definitely collect those. So uh, by, judging by the end of the first level, uh, collecting these star things are important for like a completionist bonus. Um, but we're not going for a completionist run, we're just checking out the game, seeing how it runs on the iPhone, and it runs pretty damn smoothly if I'm honest. What is this funky um, accessory we've got now? It's like a disco kind of dancey type thing. We're going to go up there. I'm not going deeper in the water. If there's one thing I've learned from underwater levels, the deeper you go, the harder it is. Um, for example, Chemical Plant, Sonic the, the Hedgehog 2, um, Alex Kidd, the original one on the Master System, I think, um, don't you have the plane at the beginning or something? You've, as soon as you fall in, that's it. Game over, you're not, it's a lot, lot more of a challenge. So we're doing pretty well actually, I don't know where to start, I think we might stop towards the end of this level. This comes with loads of cool features, like I said, you've got high scoreboard um, to compare with your friends, or with me if you, if you want to. I'm not going to be up there, but I'll be on there, I'll make sure I'm on there. Um, easily accessible, again, yes, there will be adverts between the levels, but you can pay a small fee to get rid of them. And then you've got a Sega Classic that you can play anywhere at any time, and it is don't worry, it's straight from Sega, officially, you know, which is cool. Right, we're going to get that. Oh, we're a grenade again. I'm going to explode on this guy. <laughs> I was a nuclear warhead. But am I warhead? Warhead's the enemy. Right, duck. Shoot, duck. Okay. Boop, 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 boop. Times two. Um, oh, man, we should have landed on the, the, little, the little boat. Uh, we didn't. We didn't land on the boat. Okay, right. get rid of those little mine things. I can't believe Vector Man. Oh, I'm just a dude that you know. I'm an Orbot that uh, likes to explode and deliver sludge to, to, to space. <laughs> oh, I find it so funny. All right, we need to be careful. I don't know how we died last time actually. I think something came up off the floor. All right, there we go. That's an extra life. Uh, extra hit point. Thank you, game, for that. Right, we're gonna oh, just ignore that. Keep running. Jump over him. We've got three hit points left. Right, we're gonna jump on this. Jump on the boat, Vector Man, and jump up there. Boom. Collect those. That again. Boom. Whoa! I feel like we should have collected that little monitor thing, um, but we didn't. We didn't. Okay, we're nearly. Oh, we've only got one hit point left. I need to be very careful. And that, cause I've only got one life left as well. So this could be. This could be the end of the video. Who knows? Um, okay. Doot, doot, doot. Should we jump up there? I think we should. There we go. One more hit point. We're doing well. We're doing well. Redemption. Boom. 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 Oh, level complete. There's no boss either. Thank goodness. When it comes to underwater bosses, I'm no, <laughs> I'm no good with those those guys. Right, day four, absolute zero. So let's see how we. Oh, we're underwater now. Oh man. <laughs> oh, does he have like a? I'm about to fall off a ledge animation. I want to see. <laughs> 
Hey, hey, hey. Whoa, whoa. You, you, you ease on, fella. Can we make our way out of the water? I don't really like being under the water right now. Kill me. There is a monitor. Uh-oh. No! Oh, man. It's like we're on ice. But we're not. Right. Jump. Jump. How high, high up does this go? Am I even going the right way? Come on. Platform. I'm going to leave it there, guys. Um, I'm definitely going to try and complete this level afterwards. But also, let's just quickly use that rewind button. Right, there we go. So we're back where we needed to be. We're falling down. So I'm not going to leave it there. See? See? Without that rewind button, where would I have been right now? The video would have been ended. I would have been catch you on the flip side. And we would have never explored the darker depths of Absolute Zero. We're doing all right. We're doing okay. I don't even know if I'm going the right way, you know. Nice and steady. Nice and steady, Vector Man. Vector Man. I don't, am I? <laughs> so, there you go, guys. That is Vector Man. It is available on your iTunes store, your Google Play store, absolutely free download it again join the conversation in the comment section below let's reminisce talk about those memories and uh, next time i'll see you guys on the street can you guess at this one catch you on the flip side <laughs>